Every Monday, my students and I will open up our art students workbook or my advanced classes, their advanced art students workbook, and we'll open to our art quotes. Every Monday, we take on one quote, read it, interpret it, understand what they're trying to teach us, and then write it down. As long as the response is on topic, we're okay. I'm expecting three lines of writing. Um, I want complete thoughts and a decent use of your English language to the best of your ability. So we're gonna take on a quote by Edward Degas. Edward Degas is a famous painter who did things like this, and he was also considered an impressionist artist. If you owned one of his paintings today, it would be worth several million dollars. So he had a lifetime of experience. He's definitely very famous. He's somebody we look up to in the art world. So I'm gonna read his quote and I'll project it up here. Painting is very easy when you don't know how, but very difficult when you do. So think about that for a moment. What might that mean to you? Maybe you bring your own life experience to it or you try and put yourself inside of his head but you're gonna be writing down what you think it means, what is it he's trying to teach us, or what is it that you're getting out of that quote. Again, painting is very easy when you don't know how, but very difficult when you do. So for me, uh, when I think about this quote, I'm also an artist as well as an art teacher, and sometimes I do portraits for people. Here's an example of one of my portraits. It kinda of looks like a photograph, but it's actually an oil painting. So I remember back when I was a child and I would paint and draw and I would just pick up a pencil or pick up a brush and go right to it. I wasn't worried about it looking like something in particular. I was just kind of having fun drawing and painting. So it was easy. I didn't know how to paint and it was easy. But as I got older and became more professional with it, sometimes people might ask me to paint a portrait and I needed to meet their expectations. And mostly that means realism to some people. There are many styles, but that's what they were paying me for. So when I would do a painting like this one that was very realistic, I needed to make sure I was getting it right. I had to work and think about those shadows, work and think about color. These two kids in this picture um, have clothing on that shows some of their heritage. So I had to think about that to do the textures, to make sure that the light reflections were correct. It's not easy to do. So when I know what I'm doing, it's very hard. I enjoy it. I enjoy the process of painting, but it's no longer just fun free for all. It's very focused and directed, and I'm enjoying the process. And when I'm done, I can step back, take a deep breath and say, wow, I did that. So that's my interpretation of Degas' quote. What is your interpretation? Again, it's okay if your interpretation is different from mine. If I have a class of 25 students, everyone might have a different interpretation of the same quote, and that's okay. As long as it's on topic and it's complete sentences or statements, you filled up all three lines, we're good. And when I assess these, um, you're going to be fine for that. So the process is just as important as what we have as an outcome. Again, you're looking at the quote and thinking, well, what is he trying to teach us? Or what am I getting out of that? Or how can I interpret what it is that he's saying? As long as you're responding in one of those ways, you're gonna be just fine. So find your next art quote that's been assigned and go ahead and give it a try.